I did promise you guys that we would watch the Alex Jones interview. Alex Jones interview. Oh boy. Do you feel responsible for what happened to the Sandy Hook families? Yes, I killed the children. But beyond that, I mean, no. I mean, I went in that school. I pulled a gun out. And I shot every one of them myself. I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm guilty. It's true. No, but I'm no, no. Let's just. Do I feel responsible <laughs> that someone on, on? I like how just immediately, like Andrew doesn't know what to. He's like, bro, like. I I feel like he that just completely caught him off guard. Yeah, he's like, uh, no, yeah, yeah it's like. On they played shoot him up video yeah, games. Yeah, zero to on a bunch one of million. Drugs. Went and killed a bunch of kids, and then the internet questioned it, and I covered that. They staged Sandy Hook. The evidence is just overwhhelming. I thought that was so stupid that he said that. It was so dumb. Like, Alex Jones saying that Sandy Hook was fake? Get the fuck out of here, man. I remember, like, my mom believed that, too. I was like, man, come the fuck on. Like, I, I get how, like, a, an average person, it's like almost somebody believes that, like, a tragedy like that isn't, ha like, it, it's staged or fake as, like, a coping mechanism. But, I mean, you can't go on live television and say this shit, right? Because then, obviously, all the people got harassed. There was, like, a whole court case about this. I mean, we looked at all sides. We played that. Well, stage doesn't equal fake, stupid fucking take. Well, if it's so fucking stupid, then why'd they get sued and why'd the parents get harassed? Like, it, it doesn't really matter whether it was staged or fake, does it? It just matters as to whether it was authentic or not. Devil's advocate from both sides. No, I don't feel responsible, and I don't yeah. apologize anymore. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I don't apologize, I killed the kids. Was there a defendant? I, no, I killed them. I killed him. I think that this is what he did. Like, basically, he, Alex Jones's lawyers have probably instructed him not to talk at all about the issue. Like, they probably told him, they're like, Alex, listen. You can't fucking talk about this shit anymore. Like, we don't want another case. You don't want another case. This is done. Yeah, he lost. It's like, we don't want to have to bring this up again. They're going to sue you again if you bring it up. So this is the way he handles it. Kill him. No, I did. No, you didn't. No, everybody said no. No, I killed him. I killed him. I already admitted I did it. I killed him. I'm the bad guy. I'm the devil. Get rid of the First Amendment. Can we move on to other topics? I don't think. I killed him. First Amendment killed him. I've never seen Alex Jones. I've never met him. Uh, my, one of my friends uh, used to work at Whataburger. And uh, Alex Jones went to the Whataburger one time, but uh, it, I wasn't there. So I, I never met him. He lives in Austin. I live in Austin. So yeah, that's about it. Sec get rid of the Second Amendment. Get rid of the First Amendment. They're bad. They killed the kids too. Okay. George Washington killed him. Jesus killed him. The whole, we should rename the whole planet Sandy Hook. Everything. It should be holidays. We should bow five times a day to, to New Haven, Connecticut. You see, this is why people watch him is because he's fucking insane. Yeah, he's absolutely fucking insane. So like, it, it's just, it's so insane. Like you, you watch this, it's like, wow, this is amazing. Like, how could a person do this? For the kids that die. Every American is to blame. Every gun owner is to blame. I'm to blame. We are all guilty to Bloomberg and Soros. Turn our guns in, turn our guns in. I know, I did it, I killed mm -hmm. them, I killed them, I killed them, I, I know, I killed them. So I'm done talking about it. Okay. I killed them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about the trial at all? There's nothing to talk about. Yeah. Let me tell you, I don't know if I can do this interview right now. <laughs> you liking it? I don't think you should keep doing that. <laughs> what? Dude, I murdered those children. No. I did. <laughs> what? I don't want Still not a funny thing to say. I get the point, but it's just like, fuck, man. <laughs> fuck it. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm fucked. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, listen to him talk about it off stream. Yeah, he eat himself out. Yeah, I'll go fuck, dude. Like, it's whatever. Wow. I mean, I'm giving a fuck right now. I understand. I understand. Yeah, you want to fucking take me out? Right? No, but <laughs> they, they really, it wasn't their intention.
A jury in the Alex Jones trial ordering the conspiracy theorists to pay $45.2 million to parents who lost their six-year-old son in the Sandy Hook massacre for calling it a hoax. Every sin ever committed on Earth in 10,000 years of history, I did it. The, the, the Night Stalker, the Zodiac Killer, I did it. I thought that was the Vietnam Cruz. War, Hitler. I was actually Hitler. It wasn't Hitler. It was me. I did it. W wait. Vietnam War, Hitler. I was actually Hitler. It wasn't Why is... Why did they... Um... What was this? It's before he... Yeah, it's before he got banned. No, Alex Jones, like... I, I will have you know... I think that if Alex Jones never got banned, I would not be surprised if InfoWars was the biggest news network in the world. Like, it would be bigger than Fox News, bigger than CNN, bigger than all of these. It would not even be close. That one was me. I did it. You I was in a time yeah. machine in Germany. Yeah, I did in, all in that, okay? I did everything. Architect. Archetypal cocksucker? Holy fuck. Political dildo. I, 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 like, one thing about this that's really kind of weird is especially, like, the fact that Alex Jones talks a lot the same the way that I do. Like, the moment that he went off the interview, he's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck, dude. He's saying the exact same words that I would say. Archetypal cocksucker, that's something that I would say. This is disturbing. Cyber Satan. And that's what I accept. So, you're here with the bad guy. You're here Austin with the talk. villain. I don't Lex know. Luthor, right now. You're talking to him right now. You're talking to Lex Luthor. How's it feel? You don't feel like Lex Luthor to me. I invented cancer. Oh. I just did it. Doesn't matter. I created death. People didn't die before I was born. I created. <laughs> this is three minutes into the video. Keep that in mind. This is three minutes into the video. Heartburn. I created hemorrhoids. I created hangovers. I created. I wonder why he brought up heartburn, heartburn and hemorrhoids. I wonder why, of all the things that you could bring up. Gingivitis. Mm, that's a bad one. I created hair loss. I created, uh... That's... That's a... Man, that's... Oh, man, that's... A, shit. Acne. Mm, I, I wish created, you could do that one. I created bad breath. So yeah, now, now that we've accepted that. I invented Prozac that Adam Lanza was on. I had his mom buy him the AR-15, give it to him. I was there, yeah. Did you know that all money in the universe was created by Sandy Hook? It was a time machine. Before the Rothschilds created fractional... I love how, like, Andrew at this point has realized that this is going to be the easiest video of his life. He doesn't even need to do anything. He just needs to sit there. He doesn't have to ask any questions. He doesn't have to, like, you know, try to bait out some response, some crazy response. No. You don't need to bait out the crazy responses. You're going to get those for free. Before tally sticks, before gold coins the Roman era, it was the Sandy Hook event that created all money, future and forward. Yeah. Everything is that. Everything. Well, I mean, how do you feel about, like, how your attorney did overall? They said I was guilty beforehand because they couldn't have a real trial because they had 24 minutes out of 10 years of me talking about it. Most of them be saying it happened. It's sick. It's disgusting. I was being sarcastic earlier. I didn't kill the children. I'm not Jeffrey Dahmer. I didn't. Oh fuck. Okay. All right. Never mind. This is a, that. Well, I mean, sh I don't know who to believe now. What happened? Like we switching things up now invent hemorrhoids i simply question he didn't things. invent hemorrhoids. And they're trying okay. to demonize me to say questioning things is a bad deal uh and uh, elementary school massacre well, i remember this bro i remember this shit like we watched this at jeff's house whenever the day it happened yeah 27 dead now 18 kids in connecticut when you got small children this really gets to you not we didn't watch alex but we watched the event happen 
That's why the globalists use children's deaths to go after our guns, because they know it gets to us. So don't ever think the globalists that have hijacked this country wouldn't stage something like this. They kill little kids all day, every day. And it's not our government. It's the globalist. I really think they're going to try to come after the guns. It's going to start a civil war. I clearly believe from the evidence children are really killed in Sandy Hook, and it's a real tragedy. Unfortunately, evidence is beginning to come out. People who've been coached, people who've been given cue cards, people who are behaving like actors. I dropped Billy off and watched him go around the corner, and he never came back, all because of the guns. Won't you just turn your guns in for my son? I mean, folks, we've got video of Anderson Cooper with clear blue screen out there. Nothing can account for what happens to his nose. Early on, I said, well, they had to have killed somebody. I mean, this doesn't make sense. Then parents come out and start laughing and then turn to the camera and cry. No one died. That's what it was. See, like, the thing is, the Sandy Hook stuff, there was, like, two levels to it. There was the first level of thinking that, like, it was a, like, it was a staged event, right? Like, they, they paid the guy to go in there and do the thing. So, like, the event happened. It's just that the event was caused by some sort of, like, fucking uh, Illuminati power. And then there was also people who lit literally thought that it didn't happen. Like, it just straight up did not happen, period. In who 2012, that, in Sandy Who thought that, though? Obviously, there were a lot of people that thought that. Because the people that, uh, the, the, the families got harassed. How would the families be getting harassed if people didn't think that? Sandy Hook. Wait, am I defending him? No, what do you mean? Am I no, I'm not defending him. I thought this was fucking stupid. This is one of Alex Jones' biggest L's. This probably is, if you think about all of the L's that Alex Jones has ever had, this is probably the biggest one. And I would argue that it's not even remotely close. It is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. I couldn't believe it at first. I knew they had- He says in my view to avoid legal liability, I believe. There. Yeah, it's a $45 million L. Clearly, but I thought they killed some real kids, and it just shows how bold they are. Mm -hmm. People come to me in hotels and in grocery stores, and I'll be walking my dog, and they just go, the car will go, Rrr! you son of a bitch, quit, leave those kids alone. And I'll be like, I, I, I never talk about it to me. Shut up, you son. And some people... I confronted me in front of my wife and children and said, you son of a bitch, you killed those kids. No one knows who Adam Lanza is. When you ask somebody about Sandy Hook, it's Alex Jones. Yeah. So I did not kill the children. But do you feel any sense of response? I will give Alex credit. I don't, that he, I don't think that he killed them. I agree. I, I, I don't think he killed them. Yep, that is true. That's a very easy true. Yeah, he didn't do it. Responsibility for the way the lives of the Sandy Hook families were affected. An emotional day of testimony after three family members whose loved ones were murdered at Sandy Hook Elementary School took the stand describing the harassment they endured as a result of Alex Jones' false believe statements. Like crazy. People were, you know, accusing me of lying, telling me Ben never lived, telling me that I was going to burn in hell and that I would pay for what I had done. Hensel testified that after her husband Jeremy committed... Well, it, it's obvious that this shit happens, right? It's like if one streamer says, bad stuff about another streamer everybody goes into the other streamers chat and harasses them like and we all know this happens in twitch like what if like, you think this doesn't happen on in real life like yeah i mean it's common sense it's suicide in 2019 people went to their daughter Aviel. Wait, what jeremy committed suicide in 2019 people went oh to their daughter God. aviel's graveside looking for evidence the family was faking his death I couldn't oh my wrap my head God. around just one. That's see, that's the kind of nutso stuff that you uh, that you I mean, you just can't have that. That's that's not so stuff. Like what the fuck? They're going to like a kid's grave. You couldn't take it? No, of course not. One more family member being part of this narrative. Uh, you know, 
it's a it's an industry. It's a business. They got seventy three million dollars from Remington. Um, they've sued all these different groups and people. So no, I didn't kill their kids. I already said I was sorry before they ever sued me. Well, you kill one of the parents, though. I mean, indirectly, right? I mean, because the, the, the guy fucking like, yeah, maybe it wasn't just because of you, but he didn't make it any better. I, I mean, come on, man. Come on. Like, I don't know why he can't just come out and say, listen, I was totally wrong. I was totally off base. I'm sorry for everything that I said. I just want to move on from this. It's a disgrace. Like why why do you why why not just say that and fucking move on? He kind of did on Rogan. Yeah, but why is he not saying it now? Like it's like I mean, I don't have to sit there. I I'm not going to sit around and watch every interview because yes, obviously I'm sure sometimes he might have said this, but like it needs to be something that if people bring it up, that's what you say. None of the, no, his viewers aren't going to stop watching him if he says that. No, absolutely not. They're just going to think, oh, whatever. Half of them will think he was getting paid by the Illuminati or something like that. Or, you know, they threatened him and then they'll just keep believing it anyway. So who, they're not going to stop watching Alex Jones. And now they're just attacks themselves to my name and who I am. They can get all the judges they want against me. I have hardly any money. All those articles you see, it's like made up. Almost all of us not even true. You're not you're not doing too good money wise right now. I, I never, um, like they they had a financial expert in my rigged trial, and he said Infowars is worth 130 million, and Alex Jones huh. worth 270 million. That's a lot of money. I, I don't have two million dollars in cash. I don't have stocks and bonds. I don't have two million dollars in cash. I no, I think he's right. He probably has his money invested in other things. Yeah, it, 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 it's not in cash. See, again, the language that people use, how people try to deceive you tells you more about what's actually the truth. I don't have I don't have all that stuff. So it's, it's like a joke. They can have billion dollar verdicts. It doesn't mean anything. So they're, they're expecting you to pay forty five million dollars. It's like forty seven million or something like that total. You think that in time you'll be able to do that? Oh, no, it's what's ridiculous. Like, and they have two more trials coming up in Connecticut and in Texas. Oh They're God. Oh boy, we'll watch those too. It was like, yeah, we're gonna get him. He's like, they've built me up into like I'm this giant creature, like all powerful, like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Yeah. And it's none of it's real, so it's like it's funny actually. It's actually comical. I mean, it, it's it's actually hilarious. <laughs> and then the Sandy Hook families, they already got $73 million from Remington. They're sitting there thinking they're about to get this big payday, and it doesn't exist. Yeah. Are you going to be able to keep the studio open? Oh, I mean, I mean, I could do a show anywhere. I mean, they're not going to show anything. No. They could run off some of our employees. Yeah. They could shut down some of our people, yeah. uh, which is their big job to shut down America, get rid of American workers. I mean, that's the, that's the part of the course. But, I mean, as long as I don't want to quit or they don't put me in prison, they can't stop anything. Was there a definitive year where big tech really teamed up to deplatform InfoWars? Yeah, it was 2018, early 2018. I remember whenever this happened. Bay Area tech giants are taking action against a prominent conspiracy theorist. Twitter gives Alex Jones the boot. Just into CNN, Facebook is purging right-wing conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. Apple, Facebook, Spotify, and YouTube all completely banned InfoWars within 12 hours of each other. Facebook said, we have taken... I do think that these companies were obviously acting in, in unison. This was something that they were doing on purpose, and, and this was planned ahead of time. Uh, I do think that I, I don't agree with deplatforming people, except, ironically, in a case like this. I think that if you use the social media platforms to commit a crime then you need to get banned off of the social media platforms. It's common sense. Now, outside of that, just banning people for having unpopular opinions, no, I'm not a big fan of this. However, if you're using the platforms to disseminate information or to do something, whether it's like grooming or some other weird shit like that, uh, or, or, you know, like this stuff that leads to people getting harassed, then I think that, yes, absolutely, you should get deplatformed down for glorifying violence like sean king lying about george floyd i don't give a fuck about sean king who get like nobody gives a fuck about sean king but literally the only time i ever hear about that guy is people saying that he's actually white 
Like nobody gives a fuck. Like it's it's not a it's not a real problem, man. And also, I'm not even thinking about him. Yeah, what about him? What about who gives a fuck about him? That's not my problem. And using dehumanizing language to describe people who are transgender, Muslim, and immigrants, which violates our hate speech policies. And they had the heads of big tech, so they got together and colluded to shut me down. I knew they had to censor freedom because freedom was so popular. I mean, I knew that was coming, yeah. How did that affect- <gasps> What is that? I'm telling you guys, there's a reason why Alex Jones has been fucking doing media for 30 years. They had to censor freedom because freedom's popular. There it is. Affects your audience size. Um, it didn't let us have, on average, that giant viral spread every day, reaching 20, 30 million people. It said it was three, four million people that were hardcore, but then they understood there was censorship, so they were grassroots putting it out. So it actually made it more underground and more avant-garde, more black sheep, more rebel, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, more outlaw, and so it made it more successful in a way. What would you do if you had a time machine? You know, I think... That's a good question. That, that's a very good question. Somebody said, uh, again, hate speech does not equal freedom of speech. Uh, in America, it does. Like, I don't know what country you live in, but hate speech is freedom of speech. That's just the truth. Like, if you don't like that, that's one thing. But it is true. Hey, even though... Not under the Constitution? Wait, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, look... Uh Here we go because people are going to turn this into something stupid. Uh justices re unanimously reaffirmed that there is effectively no hate speech exception to the free speech rights protected in the 1st Amendment. So it's right there unanimously I'm not telling you whether it's right or wrong I don't give a fuck if you think it's right or wrong but this is true are we good oh are we good Yeah, it was, that was the globalist. That was George Soros trying to shut me down. Damn, I must have been thinking of inciting violence clause instead of the hate speech one. Yes, I, I know. This is something that a lot of people believe. They believe that hate speech is not protected by the First Amendment. Hate speech is absolutely protected by the First Amendment. Unanimously reaffirmed. And reaffirmed means that this was clearly not the first time this came up. Here we go. By that logic, Alex Jones isn't in the wrong, and anyone, anyone's, anything anyone says is protected free speech. No, that's not true. Uh, that's not true. I'm not going to go back and argue back and forth about this, okay? Yeah, it's just I'm not going to... I I got caught in their Sandy Hook trap, and I, and I was covered other people's theories and barely did it wasn't much of what i did on the you know on the timeline i think i do it all again i think this is, is going to bring us to something bigger i mean technically if i had it all over to do again i, I wouldn't have been caught in that trap but that's not how the universe works i did these things and i'm going with the flow of where i'm at i did it from a good heart and i think it'll be turned towards good at the end of the day so i'm not worried about it and i believe humanity's going to wake up i believe we're going to win okay so now what like, honestly, like, I'm so tired of hearing about this Alex Jones Sandy Hook shit. Like, I've already made up my mind he's an asshole. And, and that he was wrong for saying it. Like, I'm just, I'm just so, like, I don't want to hear, like, more justifications for it. More rash. I don't want to hear more people saying that he's a bad guy for it. I've already made up my fucking mind on this. I just want to move on. Oh, that's the kid? Uh, 
Oh, yeah, I guess so. That's so right, crazy. So I remember, like, that, that, that was so crazy how that guy did that. I can't believe that fucking shit. It's nuts. On Connecticut, where the Sandy Hook. While players can't handle this level of politics? I don't know why anybody. Well, who's, who's, who's getting turned up by this? Wait, what are you what are you what are you getting like mad about? Who's getting mad, bro? Like, yeah, like nobody's getting mad. We're just talking. Like, yeah, you get if you getting mad, you getting uh, you getting upset about shit. Get the fuck out of here. So I, I want to have a conversation. Have to take you know, fucking tamp things down for pussies that get mad about shit. You can't control their emotions. They start typing in the fucking screen, man. Get out of here. Elementary school shooting took One place guy, around 10 years so. ago. It's a special week for this town because for the first time ever, Alex Jones is being made to stand trial in Connecticut. In a Connecticut yep. courtroom just 20 miles from Sandy Hook, conspiracy theorist Alex Jones taking the stand, forced to face his own lies. So right now we're on our way to go meet up with a trial attorney named Mark Bankston, who represented the Sandy Hook families in the uh, previous defamation case in Texas. Nobody thinks you killed the kid. Nobody thinks that, Alex. What you did, what you killed, is their ability to get over the death of their children. Look, I'm a parent, and I know my job. My job is to protect my kid. They couldn't be with their kids on December 12th, 2012, right? Like, they couldn't do that. And so when that happened, their job changed. Their job became to protect their kid's legacy. And so every day that this kept going on and they couldn't stop it, these parents are feeling like they're failing their kids over and over and over again. And I put that on Alex Jones more than anybody else in the country. So for those who don't know, can you describe the extent of the harassment that was experienced by the Sandy Hook families? I, you, there's no way I could do it just sitting here with you. It's unreal. It's initially, it just started with rough contacts. You'd get people who were emailing them, people would find yeah. out their phone number, call them on the phone. But then you had people starting to show up in Newtown and destroy the memorials they had for their kids. They had people showing up. At, See, that's at, the thing is like whenever you say stuff like that, I understand that like there's a lot of people that, um, y you know, they, they try to make it where... It's like, oh, well, he's just saying something. It's like it's he's free to say what he wants. But, like, whenever you say things that cause people to do stuff like this and it's wrong and it's also um, – it, it's just – it you didn't put any thought or time into making sure that it's true. Uh, it was irresponsible to do that. And it has actual outcomes and actual effects in the real world. You know, at their it's not homes. Just me, not, it's not just it's not just mean words on on an email that you can delete. And on their door, they had people going around and talking to their neighbors. Yeah, and then it just kept escalating as as more and more people got caught into the. Because wild. you think about it, like the kind of person that gets that gets wrapped up in the idea that they actually faked an entire school shooting to take away their guns. Like you, you, if you put yourself in that person's shoes, which it's hard to do because usually, you know, these are not people that have like the same level of logic that like, you know, a normal person would use, but like put yourself in that person's shoes. This means that these people are literally like the scum of the fucking earth, right? These people are using their own kid's death to propel some government globalist agenda and they're going to depopulate uh, sorry depopulate the earth put people into fema camps take their guns away so you have the mindset of that person of course they're going to do crazy shit like this because if you believe this there is like a number of other like I guess like pre-existing opinions or like foundational opinions that you need to have on top of that it's not like just one point of reference. It's multiple. Wildness of it. There's Lucy Richards, right? Who was a woman who mm -hmm. I have to have some level of sympathy with on on some way because she's mentally ill. But she got obsessed with all these. Yeah, exactly. Like, and that, that's the problem is that you see a lot of people, and this is the same thing. Uh, like we watched the QAnon rallies. We've seen this a lot. And I remember there was this one guy, I told this story probably multiple times now, 
And, uh, you know, I walk into Chipotle and he holds the door open for me. And so I walk in and, you know, this is an older man, probably 55 to 65, somewhere around there. First thing he says is, you know, he's complaining about, he's like, yeah, I about had it with wearing these masks. They made COVID. They killed JFK. And, and, and like you have a conversation with him because, you know, it's the, the line was, I mean, you've been to Chipotle, right? It's a long line. And uh, so it took a while. So I got to hear a lot about this guy. And, uh, you know, his wife had been in the hospital for the last year. So you have, like, this guy's out of his fucking mind. Like, he's, he's like, freaking out. He's stressed out. And it's like, this is not a person of a sound mind that's, you, you know, thinking clearly. And uh, I think that's what happens with a lot of people is that it attracts, like, this kind of stuff attracts people that are extremely emotionally and or mentally unstable. You entertained this bullshit? Sure. Yeah, why not? I don't want to argue with some person at the Chipotle line. It's not my problem. No one's responsible for what anyone else does unless you told them to do it directly. That's the law. I mean, but don't you find that a little bit disingenuous, though? A little bit? I mean, like, I, I think that it's very clear that if you start casting this shadow of doubt and you start saying that these people are doing it in order to prop up a, uh, you know, like a fucking globalist agenda to depopulate the world and take away everybody's guns and turn everybody into slaves, and you think that that's not going to call people to action, a direct call to action is not the only thing that you can be held liable for. Like, I, under, I, I think that it's definitely... I'm not saying that, like, everybody should get in trouble every single time that a person does something stupid because of what they said. I, don't, I, don't, I never said that. I'm not saying that. But I think in this circumstance, it seems like a very obvious cause and effect situation. Narratives and about Lenny Posner. She was in Central Florida. And when it got disclosed that that's where Lenny had moved to, and InfoWars put up his Boca Raton... Uh, mailbox where he picks up his mail. Yeah, well, I've got an article here from a guy I think was our last caller. He's been getting all kinds of grief from Mr. Posner. Social media shut down due to Sandy Hook false copyrights. What's interesting is they list the address for the Honor Network in uh, Boca Raton, Florida, 908 North Dixie Highway. There is no suite, but it's got two different buildings listed that address. Well, we'll just start investigating that. And I guess I'm going to have to probably go on up to New Newtown. I'm going to have to well, probably go investigate. I mean, you're showing people. Yeah, I mean, you're showing people's addresses and stuff like this. I mean, like, this is clearly irresponsible. I mean, can we please, can we please just acknowledge that this is tremendously irresponsible like if anybody else did this like here's an example like if i did this everybody would want me banned everybody would want me fucking banned for doing this like showing somebody's address like a google maps picture satellite picture of their house like i would be fucking gone Florida as well. She decided, okay, that's my call to action. So she started stalking Lenny and Veronique through Central Florida. That's, I mean, like, is that a call to action? Let's listen again what they said. Wait, but it's got two different buildings listed that address. Well, we'll just start investigating that. And I guess I'm going to have to probably go on up to New Newtown. I'm going to have to well, probably go on. Oh, we'll just start investigating that. And I guess I'm going to. He said, we'll just start investigating that. I, I think this is, it, it's one point. I, I would not say yes, 100%, but I would say that it's not a surprise that people would take that as a call to action. And I think to a certain extent, if you have to sit there and think about is it or not for that long, and then people are taking it as if it is, you, you know what I mean? I have to probably go on up to New Newtown. I'm going to have to well, probably go investigate Florida as well. She decided, okay, that's my call to action. So she started stalking yeah. Lenny and Veronique through Central Florida. She would call and leave these messages. And also, I don't want to say either way, by the way, that, uh, you know, the woman doing this is not of, like, free from fault. It's mainly her fault because she is the one who did it. 
Like, yes, Alex Jones is an asshole for insinuating and, you know, stoking the flames on this fire, but she's the fire. That's the problem. Like, she's the fucking fire. She's the main one that's wrong. Alex Jones just kind of helped it happen. And I don't know if you've ever heard him, man. And, and maybe we'll get a hold of him for you or something just so people can understand what this is. But creepy. Did you hide your imaginary son in the attic? Are you still fucking him? You fucking Jew bastard. Look behind you. Death is coming to you real soon. Just this awful, hateful stuff. This is crazy. I, I mean, like, imagine that. It's like, this is your kid gets shot. Bro, like, here's the thing. Is whenever you have a person like this, you, you know what I was saying? Like, how... Like, what do you think the odds are that this woman believes that there's, like, that she believes in, like, the Jewish, like, uh, you know, global conspiracy thing? Like, what do you, what do you think the odds are on that? Like, I, I think we're batting at about 95% there. Like, 95 to 100%, not 95 to 90. Yeah, this is an extremely, extremely high, high probability. And, and, like, this is what I'm saying is, that like, people like that, they... Um, the usually there's not just one crazy thing they think. Stuff he slurs and at him and every that don't even make denier. any sense. What a surprise! I mean, she called him the n-word, and uh, uh, accused him no, she's a nut. that Noah is still alive and that he's got Noah in the attic and sexually assaults him every night. And and even after and the reason why she probably thinks that is that there is a very like it, it's like the whole PizzaGate controversy. And everything surrounding that, where the people... For, those are really nice shoes. Wow, those are nice shoes. Holy shit. Um, the, the thing is, like, the whole Pizzagate controversy and all of that is, like... It, it, it has to do, like, there's, like, the whole pedo element to it that is... The shoes really distracted me a lot. Uh, that, that's, that's just, like, kind of interlaced into the DNA of the conspiracy itself is that it just it makes them worse and worse right not only are they not christians but they are uh you know they worship satan and they also are pedos and you know it goes more and more and more right it's it's the rabbit hole circling the drain she was arrested by federal law enforcement and then she was sentenced um to federal prison for a short period uh, part of her conditional releases, she cannot access InfoWars. She's just simply not allowed to do that as a condition of her parole. I'm an X-Files kid, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a late 90s conspiracy guy. Man, conspiracy culture used to be fun. It used to not be so malicious and cruel. Area 51, fish-human hybrids, Roswell. Yeah. I mean, it was it was kind of fluffy in its own way. Yeah. Like, it didn't really hit, it didn't really matter at the end of the day what's at Area 51. It was a mystery box we could all have fun with. And there was a time when Alex Jones was hilarious. We just all kind of, like, watched him yeah. when he, in his early days. Oh, but yeah. But the moment he started commanding, I, I'll tell you, it goes hand-in-hand hand with the damn supplements. Sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure at InfoWars.com. Yeah, my mom bought one of these. We never really used it because it leaked. Like, because it, it, the, the thing is, like, I put it on the couch, put it together for... And, like, the, the, fuck it, I come back, like, an hour later, and there's, like, water on the on the fucking carpet. We sell books, videos, T-shirts, high-quality water filters, short radios, cook stuff, yeah. survival food of the highest yeah, she, quality. she bought these, too. Quality. Brain Force sold out in four days. Liver Shield sold out in a week. Prostagard sold out in a month. We have the highest quality nutraceuticals out there, bar none. Yeah. The, the government is going to starve you by the prepackaged food. Oh, yeah. Right? The, the, the government has... Why don't uh, you tell her to stop? She's an adult. She's going to do what she wants. Like, what do you think? Whenever I got it, whenever she got some random fucking supplement, I'm like, oh, wow, this is going to fucking take care of things. I guess now you want to stop smoking? No. I was fucking pissed. Yeah, I, I like, you can't, but you can't control, like, she's she's an adult. Like, she she's going to do what she wants to do. Yeah, it fucking sucks, man. It's fucking horrible, because the worst part about it is that whenever you give people something like that, they use it. As it's like, oh, well, I'm working towards a solution, so now I'm not going to actually solve the problem. It fucking sucked. I, I watched it happen for years, man.
And like, it, it, it's not like, it's just, I saw Alex Jones brainwashing her. It's just her, it was her own bad decisions. But I, it, it, it sucks to see it, man. It really did. Um, uh, released radiation into the environment by the iodine. You know, we, we yep. were seeing that yep. basically right after the month of Sandy Hook, his traffic went up darn near 50% yeah. from all the coverage he was doing that month of the hoax. So that caused him to double down. I, I would say that also that's true because of all the people that disagreed with him as well. Like, I, I don't think that it's 50% because of all the people that just agreed, but I, I do think that it probably was, it was definitely a turning point, right? It was the beginning of the Joker arc. On because you know, they've the testified on the record. If we see traffic spikes, we try to emulate that. When Alex Jones said the school wasn't an operating school, when he said paramedics never yeah. even entered the building, when he said there are pictures of the children who are who they say died who are still alive, he didn't believe that shit. I, I don't believe Alex Jones thinks there's anything fishy about Sandy Hook, but he's going to keep saying it even right now. I don't know if that's true or not. Like, I, I'm actually not sure. I, I would not say for certain that Alex Jones doesn't know. Like, I, I think that there is a very good probability that he does know, or sorry, he, he does believe what he says. But I don't know. You know, he's still going to be weird about it. Why? It's not a matter of whether you believe it or not. It's a matter of whether you have carved a groove in your personality that the wheel just goes in that rut now. I think it would force a moment of ego he's not ready to confront. The Infowars store is like the main revenue source, yeah? I mean, I mean, if I need it to be, I mean, if I, 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 I mean, if I need to, I go to, I, I, mean, I can go to supporters and, and just get straight donations. Yeah. So uh, how do how do you go about doing that? Just ask them for the money. All right. Just ask them for the money. Like, yep, uh, there it is. <laughs> yep, uh, that, that, it's just that simple. Straight up. The jury came in this evening with $4.2 million. I admitted that I followed disinformation, but not on purpose. I apologize to the families. What I did to those families was wrong, but I didn't do it on purpose. We are so broke. But if you don't fund us, if you don't buy products at InfoWarsStore.com, we will shut down. So get a t-shirt. That a will never happen. I want you guys to know this, that it doesn't matter if he sells a million copies of Super Male Vitality or supplements of Super Male Vitality or zero. It does not matter. He will never stop. If he has to be recording from his own house with like his son holding the camera, he will keep doing it. He will never stop. Look, get Body's Ultimate Turmeric Formula, get Vitamin Mineral Fusion, get them all at InfoWarsStore.com and keep us on the air. What do you think he deserves oh. at the end of this road? Um, um, to no longer be in public life, right? Like, I don't... Pe people have been like, oh, you, you're out to destroy Alex Jones. I don't want to destroy him. I don't care. If he wants to work at Safeway or manage a Sprint store, I don't care. I, I feel the right amount of justice is you should not be able to commercially market yourself as a public figure anymore. Like you should exit the American stage. That's what I think is the correct result. Or at least that's what I think is the most utilitarian good result. But the money is not even really the question for me. The, the question is, will this suit be successful at stopping him from being on the national stage? And my worry is, like we said in the courthouses, it won't be because the cameras will still follow him. Like, he can lose all of his money. He gets out there again on the board. No, no, people are going to always listen to Alex Jones. Like, and it's also the more that that person, the more that a person gets vilified, the more other people double down on supporting them. And he starts building it right back up. No, I told you I was, I was going to shut Martin. it down. Before they sued me and shit, I'm not not having it now. You were going to shut down in Fillers? I was going to hand it off to the people. I oh, know. It's not a labor of love now, it's a labor of war. We ain't shut the shit down. So the, so the question is, can this cause of action against Jones on behalf of these parents come to represent something bigger? Is, is it a bigger referendum on the false things he's saying? I hope so, man. I hope so. Where do you it's see disappointing. I, I think the worst thing about it to me is that I think somebody who is extremely paranoid and worried about government, 
uh, you know, like Alex Jones's commentary about how, you know, after 9-11, they used a lot of different things about that as tools to basically remove people's freedoms and security and privacy like the Patriot Act, etc. Uh, I think that it's good to have somebody like Alex Jones talking about that stuff because it's legitimate, you know? Like, this is actually bad stuff. And, and I think that's one of the worst things about the uh, the Sandy Hook thing and him doubling down on this is that Alex Jones and people like him do serve a vital role in, like, making sure that the public doesn't just accept the government taking control of their lives. I think this is a legitimate problem, and people like him are a counterbalance for it. But whenever they misuse that position to just push bullshit then it's like not only do you lose not only do you gain the bullshit but you also lose that angle of accountability i think that's what the issue that that's what my concern is really is that i think that alex jones is almost like a, somebody like him is a necessary force in society and is not always a bad thing but whenever you have something like this it's like how can you allow that to continue do you see kind of what I'm saying? Yeah, it corrupts the message. Yeah, exactly. Imagine your government cares about you. Well, I think that it's different, like a government caring about you versus like people wanting to have their own autonomy and their own privacy. Uh, that that's that those are pretty different on the spectrum. You know what I mean? They're a credible uh, journalists that fulfill that role. Um, I I think that that's always going to be the case, but I think somebody like Alex Jones seemed to be more believable and more trustworthy to a certain group of people yourself in 10 years I see me picking my teeth my enemy's bones yourself in 10 years I see me picking my teeth my enemy's bones oh boy oh boy all right <laughs> we'll see what happens Jesus, man, I, I, I wish that he wouldn't have just gone off on this fucking Sandy Hook tangent because there's like so much other stuff going on. I mean, really, like the Sandy Hook stuff is like popular now. But I mean, as I said, I kind of already made up my mind on it. Uh, you, you know, I looked into it myself. My mom showed me like numerous amounts of evidence and stuff. Like she probably spent hours showing me the evidence. I, I don't. I don't find it substantial. I think it's ridiculous. And so uh, that that's about it. He's never going to stop. Yeah. And uh, I believe another issue is there have been several times Alex Jones accurately predicted things yet to come and justly exposed governmental corruption. Yeah, I, I think that there have been some times where he's been right. I mean, fuck, he was right about the frogs turning gay. So it's not that Alex Jones. I think that's what the. It, it, it's not only the fact that he did the bad thing, but it's also the fact that the bad thing corrupted what could have been a compromising force. Did you actually need to look into it that much? Well, yeah, you want to look at what you're talking about? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, she, because I didn't, want, I didn't accept it, so she just kept showing me more stuff about it. Because I'm like, it's, this is bullshit. Like, yeah, it's, it's not true. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen a lot of stuff about it. It's been, it was like t ten years ever since that had happened. So yeah, I saw it for a long, long time. Did you say there wasn't substance, evidence, and Sandy Hook happening? Please further explain it because it sounded like you agreed with Alex Jones. I'm not going to further explain that because anybody who comes to that conclusion is a moron. Uh, I'm, not going to, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to preface and pad every single statement that I say in case somebody with stupid intent is going to come in here and think that I'm defending this. Like, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to fucking begin with you. So, yeah, I already said it. It's trying too hard. And, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Hey, he was talking about Epstein. Who gives a fuck? Like, the only, I don't care about Epstein. He's fucking dead. He's dead. Whether he killed himself or not, he's fucking dead. The only thing I care about with him is, like, who, who was he, uh, you know, who went on that airplane? Who went over to the island? Where's the book? That's what I care about. I don't give a fuck about him. He's dead and buried. You have to look at the bigger picture, which is these nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. 
Uh, Trump was on the plane. Everybody. Trump was on the plane. Bobby Kotick was on the plane. I even heard Elon Musk was on the plane, or he was involved with uh, Jeffrey Epstein too. Uh, I've I've heard a lot of popular people were, and that's why I think it deserves a lot more uh, a, a lot more investigation. Yeah, I mean Jay Z was on the plane. I don't know that. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I know Bill Clinton for sure, but I I don't know about Bill Gates. Yeah. Many pop, like yes, there are many popular political figures that were involved with that. So yeah, it's like somebody like Alex Jones talking about things like this that I do think are like I, I find this to be incredibly concerning. That there was this guy, there's a woman who got convicted for trafficking all these these people, these these kids, and who was she trafficking? Who was she trafficking them to? Like, uh, how do we not have any names for this? This is the kind of stuff I want to hear Alex Jones talk about. Not about how some fucking kids faked getting killed. Get the fuck out of here. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just fucking annoying. Like, I, I'm sick of hearing about this shit. Like, it's just so fucking obnoxious. And I think that's what the, that's where the frustration for me comes in is that you have these legitimate fucking massive, massive gaping holes. And we're still talking about some shit that happened 10 years ago. I'm mad.